Well, guys, this is it. The moment that you've been waiting for is finally here. I'm going to do my react, my video reaction of Frozen 2's Frozen 2 Fan 2004 video of why Frozen 2 is the best movie of all time. So yeah, so let's get started, shall we? And also, Frozen 2 Fan 2004, if you're watching this, this is for you, since you're gonna love it. Before I start this review, I forgot to tell you about that intro I just showed in my intro video. That is how my intro will be like. If it's a review, I will show the poster of my review just like that. But if it's a top list, I will show the thumbnail of it attached to the intro. Welcome to the very first review on my channel. This review is Frozen 2. Came out in the year 2019. That's right, BFF. It is the sequel to the most popular Disney film ever, Frozen. The story. Yeah, yeah, well, my opinion on the first movie of Frozen was, is very overrated, and my worst movie of 2013 so far. This sequel is about Elsa hearing a voice that may have some answers about the past. So Elsa, Anna, Kristoff, Olaf, and Sven go to the Enchanted Forest to find the voice and find the truth about the That's right. Past. So as for my thoughts on the first Frozen, I find it to be decent but kind. Well, I can hear- well, I accept your opinion on on the first Frozen movie. To me, I just find that movie very overrated and my worst movie of 2013. Of overrated. It's a well-made film, but it definitely has a lot of flaws. I actually- Yeah, I do have, like, a lot of flaws of that movie. I have no positives of that- of the first movie. We hated Frozen back then, and I was honestly not looking forward to the sequel when it was announced, but I was- Yeah, same. I was not looking forward to the sequel. Yeah, well, when, when I first saw, like, the teaser trailer, I was like, no! But then when I saw, like, the official trailer, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna change, I changed my mind. I'm, I, I'm hyped through this movie. First, and I loved how dark and action-packed it looked, and I... Agreed, BFF. ...started getting paid for it, hoping to be an improvement from the first. And after seeing Frozen 2 in cinemas, it was worth the hype. It was not only better than Frozen 1 by a... Slide. Yeah, I did remember seeing Frozen 2 in the movie theaters back in. I did remember seeing Frozen 2 at Classic Cinemas back in November of 2019. It was actually pretty good, actually, in my opinion. But also, it was my favorite animated film of 2019. Well, back then, it used to be Toy Story 4, but now it's Frozen 2. Well, well Toy Story 4 is, second, is my second favorite movie of 2019. Yeah, I might rewatch it sometime this summer. It became my favorite movie of all time. In Same. Well, it used to be The Hutchback Notre Dame. Well, since you have the right point, you you do have a point that I should stop copying Mackenzie Freeman. Since now, um, Frozen 2 is officially my favorite movie of all time. So, yeah. In 2020, and it has not changed ever since. Frozen 2 changed me and my friend's life. Yeah, Frozen 2 also changed my life forever when I saw it in the cinema. The same person I am today if not for this sequel. I know a lot of fans were disappointed with this sequel or would downright hate it. I certainly do. Yeah, sadly, one of the fans were disappointed for the sequel, actually. I don't get the hate for this film at all. Yeah, I don't get the hate. I actually find it underrated, in my opinion. But if you hate this movie, I accept your opinion. But if you... Yeah. Um, if you guys hate Frozen 2, I accept your opinion as well. Yeah, if you guys bash my opinion on Frozen 2 or on the first Frozen movie, you will immediately be blocked from my channel. Well, I haven't seen that documentary, but I, I think it, I heard it was pretty good. I might, I might watch it on Disney Plus one day. Hopefully, it depends. Second anniversary, and with all the production hell that happened, the movie still ended up perfection. I agree, BFF. Two is a much darker and more mature sequel. Yeah, it's it's more mature than the first movie. The first movie was very childish, in my opinion. While the second movie, it had some action pack and dark scenes as well. And it had any rights to be, and that is what made this sequel amazing. It never gets boring, not even for one. 
Yeah, it never. It, Frozen 2 never gets old. Second, despite being dark and mature, it is also very heartwarming as well. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's also very heartwarming as well. Anna and Elsa are the best on screen sisters. Yeah, even though I prefer, even yeah, they're 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 all they're the they're awesome sisters, just like um Mirabelle, Isabella, and Luisa from Encanto. What? Well, yes, I agree, BFF. The first movie, Anna and Elsa's chemistry felt lacking due to the lack of screen. Yeah, I definitely agree with you. Time, they had it together, but in this one, they are closer than you can ever imagine. People give this criticism that Anna and Elsa don't argue, but... Yeah, I definitely agree with you. They don't... They didn't really argue in the, in the second movie. Here's the thing. They stopped themselves from arguing, like for example... Elsa pushes Anna and Olaf away from the shipwreck in the middle of their argument about if Anna will come to Atahalan or not. People say there is no character development. Um, yes, there was. Yeah, there were. I don't know why people say that because, yeah, I don't know why people say that. I think they need to like rewatch the movie if they have to understand, or they can understand more for that part. Yep. Both Anna and Elsa have a different kind of next right thing, which I will talk about that song a bit. The messages in this movie are much deeper than you think. The yeah, the message in the movie was absolutely heartwarming. The messages in the movie are self-acceptance and realizing what the next right thing is. Both Elsa and Anna undergo change when not only do they learn their family history, but finding out where they're meant to be. Elsa belonged in the enchanted forest, while Anna belonged to Arendelle. That's why... That's right, BFF. And I will make a better queen than Elsa. Now let me talk about what I think is the most criticized aspect about this film. Elsa being the fifth spirit. Their complaint was that they made the fifth spirit someone with ice powers. But I think that plot twist was heavily misunderstood. Elsa's ice powers. Yeah, I definitely agree. Powers was a gift from the spirits to Queen Aduna. It was a yeah, it was like a like a gift from the King Baduna. We're saving Agnar. But Elsa is more than just someone with ice powers. She controls the spirits. That's why she calmed down Bruni when he attacked the Norhaldra. One thing Elsa does in her role as the fifth spirit is find out the truth that King Wanir gave them the dam to weaken the forest and hurt the spirit. It was claimed to strengthen the land, but that was wrong. Speaking of King Wanir. Yeah, I definitely agree. He is the best villain of all time. And he yeah, well, yeah, King. Okay, um. The King Returning is, is definitely one of my favorite villains from the movie as well. Is Aldo Mackenzie Freeman's favorite character in Frozen 2? I can't believe people say there was no villain in Frozen 2. Did you even pay attention, King Root? Yeah, guys, I think I think we're for the people that there was no villain in Frozen 2, I think you should like rewatch that movie for you can understand if there was a villain in the movie or not. There may have been dead. But what he did to the Nordhalra created the major conflict of the movie, and the climax was Anna destroying King Runard's creation in honor to save Elsa, who got frozen, no pun intended, for going too far. The climax scene is just epic despite not needing... Agreed, BFF. ...to fight a villain. Elsa stopping the river from flowing to Arendelle just blew me away. I love every single action scenes from Elsa... Yeah, I love every scene from Anna and Elsa. ...stopping the wind spirit to fighting Bruni to her crossing the river and then the climax. As for my thoughts on the other characters I have yet to mention, Kristoff may not have much to do, but he works in being very relatable. Olaf is much more fun. Yeah, Olaf was a definitely awesome character. He was really funny in the movie. Um, he was- he used to be like my favorite character in the movie, but he's actually my third favorite character in the movie. Yeah, in the first one, he was definitely really annoying, but in the second one, he he improved. Not a lot of clues to plot details, which is brilliant. The new characters are underrated. They may not do much. Yeah, I agree. The characters are very underrated. They are given fair roles. Honey Marin is the most underrated Frozen 2 character. The movie is very emotional. Well, I find the king, re re the villain, underrated in my opinion. As well. Olaf's death scene is one of the saddest scenes ever next to- Yeah... 
I definitely agree. That one's one of the saddest scenes that I saw in my life that of all of Steph. James Bond's death in no time to die. Yep. That that's still one of the saddest scenes in 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 No Time to Die. Oh, alongside with um the scene the scene in Encanto where the house destroys. Yeah, that scene was really sad. That 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 I was like I was in tears for that. And the last thing I will talk about will be the songs. All of them are my favorite songs of all time. But let me talk about each song in chronological order. All is found is brilliant as it gives a lot of clues to plot. So Agreed. Some things never change is so catchy and under Agreed. Into the unknown is the sick. Yeah. Into the unknown is definitely my favorite song in the movie. Signature song of the movie and it got And also I would like to thank I would like to thank Frozen 2 2004 for choosing Into the Unknown in my intro. So yeah. Nominated at the Oscars for Best Original Song. Yeah, I'm pretty glad that happened. Man, it should have won Best Original Song instead of I'm Gonna Love Me Again. It's definitely way better than Let It Go. When I Am Older is the weakest song in the movie, but it's underrated. Lost in the Woods is a perfect solo song for Kristoff fans have been asking for and it puts any 80s rock ballad to shame. Show Yourself is the best Elsa song ever, the most important aspect of the plot, and it's basically Let to Go but better. And speaking of Show Yourself, Elsa's hair down is the best character design I have ever seen. It's just... Yeah, I think she looks pretty, like, hot instead of... She looks very, very cute and very hot. Perfection. Fun fact. Did you know that Elsa has more hair strands than Rapunzel? You just don't Oh yeah, I just noticed that in the movie when I when I first saw it in the movie and cinemas back in 2019. Noticed that because Elsa's hair is thick and Rapunzel's hair is thin. Oh, I almost forgot to talk about the animation. This is literally the best looking animation I have ever seen. Yeah, agreed. Alongside with Encanto, the character designs feel so human like and realistic. The Agreed, BFF. Worlds also look so realistic and something that can exist in real life. Anyway, that's all I have to say about the animation. Now back on track to the last song. You know what the next right thing is just so good. I need to make a video on why I think it's the best Frozen 2 song. So Yeah, I will do really react to that video as well. Overall, Frozen 2 is my favorite movie of all time. Same here. It really changed. Agreed, BFF. In me who I am today, I'm giving Frozen 2, of course, a 10 out of 10. Same here. So, what do you think of this deep analysis review? Yeah, this review was definitely the, the best review you ever made. Please comment your thoughts on the movie, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. Alright, so I'm gonna have to end it here. That video was definitely the best video that he made, and the best video of 2022 so far. So yeah. Alright guys, thanks for watching, don't forget to subscribe and peace out y'all.